Hello, and welcome to another lovely session of Civil Engineering with Tanya J. Laird. I am the aforementioned Tanya J. Laird. This video is meant as a short introduction to a new structural design series I'm creating on the topic of structural wood design. In this video, I want to just go over some of the motivation for the series and what topics I want to cover. The purpose of this course will be to provide engineering students and practicing engineers a practical introduction to the theories and methods of structural wood design. As such, the goals of this course are to first, provide an introduction to the theory of structural wood design, second, to build an understanding of how the unique material properties of wood affect its design and construction, third, to instruct students on the practical method of wood design, uh, fourth, to educate students on the non-structural aspects of wood as a building material, including discussions on environmental sustainability, CO2 emissions, and fire resistance. And fifth, uh, introduce students to various commonly used structural products, such as dimensional lumber, glue lamb beams, plywood sheathing, CLT, and MPP. And at least that's what I have in mind so far. My fundamental goal with this course is really to provide a basic, comprehensive introduction to the theory and practice of uh, structural wood design. Now, embarking on a course like this can be a serious endeavor, so I did want to just go ahead and explain some of my motivation uh, for creating this series in the first place. So, I have several motivations in creating this course. I'm a current doctoral student at Oregon State University in Corvallis, Oregon. I did my bachelor's and master's at Texas A&M. Uh, when I studied there, uh, wood design wasn't offered. In the years since, A&M may have started offering it again, but uh, I'm not currently aware of their status. Um, but it was a topic that I had not been exposed to since I uh, arrived at Oregon State. Oregon State, being in the Pacific Northwest, an area with a historic and present uh, large timber industry, understandably has a strong connection and history uh, and tradition of uh, wood design. While studying here, I've taken w several wood design courses, and I want to share some of that knowledge that I have gained uh, with the wider world. Additionally, I myself have taken up woodworking as a hobby, and you may see some, of my, uh, some video of me in the shop as I work through this video series. I hope to do some physical demonstrations and make this course a little more practical beyond just whiteboard theory. Additionally, I feel wood design is something all structural engineers, and civil engineers as well, should be familiar with, at least in general terms. In recent years, cross-laminated timber and mass plywood panel systems have extended wood design to previously undreamed of heights. We now see wooden buildings being constructed at a scale far beyond what was once thought possible, and especially as we seek to cut climate emissions and lower our uh, global carbon footprint, renewable structural materials such as wood and other such materials will be used ever more into the future. Uh, next, I would just like to provide a few general notes on the course. Uh, first, this course will be taught in a US-based context. I'm going to teach using the NDS by the American Wood Council. While, print, while the principles and general methods that I uh, instruct on and I teach will be applicable anywhere, the instructions and examples I perform will be uh, performed using US references. Uh, second, I plan, to perform, I plan to perform a large number of design examples in this course, and I'll be primarily doing this using the program SMATH to demonstrate example calculations. Uh, if you're not familiar with the program SMATH, it's very similar to MathCAD. It's sort of a freeware version of uh, MathCAD. MathCAD is fine, um, but it does cost several hundred dollars for a full license, and uh, SMATH is free, so I like uh, using that whenever I can. And so, um, if you'd like to learn more about that program, if you'd like to become familiar with it, uh, feel free to, to see my video series that I put out in the spring on uh, the program uh, SMATH, and a link to that uh, video series is included in the description below. Finally, I have decided to do a few more things to uh, promote and uh, build upon the channel. Uh, first of all, I've decided to go ahead and set up a Patreon. If any viewers would like to support my work here, feel free to uh, see the Patreon link below. And I've included some goodies that, uh, for those in the tiers uh, that I have set there. Those sponsoring at the $5 or more per month level will get access to digital copies of all the SMATH templates I generate for this and future series. And there are some other perks available, including impact on our input on future topics and shoutouts in future videos. I've also uh, included a few links below to some excellent wood design texts, which I'll be referencing during this course. 
Specifically, I'll be referencing uh, Design of Wood Structures by Brayer and uh, the NDS code as well. The uh, links below uh, link to uh, some Amazon affiliate links, and if you purchase a copy of either of those uh, through those links, it does help out the channel a bit. Anyway, I hope you're looking forward to this upcoming series at, as much as I am. Uh, this is just a short video outlining what to expect. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you have any uh, thoughts, please include them below. Uh, and feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to make the robots happy. Regardless, I look forward to seeing you all again soon, and as always, thank you.